stay-at-home mom is what I've been doing for most of my most of my life. The obstacles I faced when I was going through the whole process was accepting myself, accepting my art, accepting my grief, and I just bawled and allowed that to work through me and put it into my art. But it was a huge obstacle because I didn't want to cry. I didn't want to go there. I just wanted to play in my paints. I didn't want to have to do that. And that was a huge obstacle. I knew that by doing this, it would help me. Um, going through that process, allowing myself to cry and putting tears, I mean, literal tears on this piece of paper, not just drawing them, but literal tears on this piece of paper. It was freeing. And I knew that I had to do that if I was gonna move on. And art, your art projects allowed me to do that. Project Grief allowed me to do that. So I made this little box Inside, I put his pictures. He was a photographer, an amateur photographer, and I put his pictures in there. He had a thing for dragons, so when we were on vacation once, I picked up this dragon. And then he was also an amazing writer, so I took his writing after he passed, and I put it on his pictures. And his rubber ducky, because he thought that they protected him, They're still there, but they're, instead of being displayed one by one, they are actually in a big, huge vase, but they're not taking over the house, and the memory of Nicholas isn't taking over. I've been able to memorialize him and put it in a really special spot like we were supposed to do in Lesson 8. Um, it allowed me to give my kids space, my surviving children space, to move on, move through and not be stuck in their own grief because mom's stuck in her grief. Victories were, um, first of all, releasing judgment on my art and judgment on my grief, finding that freedom. And um, not only was I releasing my judgment on my art, but my mom released her judgment on my art. My mom comes in and she's like, these cards are beautiful. Your art has grown so much working through Project Grief. 